This holiday season, I got a lot of requests to engrave on glass. And while I never really had an issue doing that on my Eon Mirror 9, I was told that orange glaze tape would just make it pop so much more. So I decided to order some and give it a shot. So let's try it out. I have a business account with JDS Industries, which is where I purchased the tape. So you can request just a little sample from JDS, but I also ended up buying the entire roll. It was the girl math in me that would get free shipping for orders over $100. The directions seem to be pretty easy. Just apply the orange masking over the area that you want engraved, sandblast it as usual, and then you're able to just peel it off and it should look marvelous. So. Here, it says by doing this, you're gonna eliminate chipping and it adds depth and shading color. Let's try it out. To make sure it's completely food safe, I'm actually gonna take the pie plate and flip it over and do the engraving as a reversed image on the bottom side of the pie plate, just to ensure no shards of glass would get into any food that it is being used for. I'm gonna cut the blazer orange to the size that I need and use squeegee to get out all the air bubbles possible. Then I'll manually focus the pie plate on the laser bed. In Lightburn, I'll then use the center finder feature in order to find the exact center of the circle of my pie plate. This will make sure the artwork is perfectly proportioned around the edges. It is very easy to use as you just pinpoint three different places around the outside of your circle before it calibrates the exact center. I do have a whole other tutorial on that, so if you have any questions, drop a comment and I'll tag you in it. Next, I'll still frame my artwork to make sure it all fits on the pie plate accordingly, and then I'll begin engraving. The settings that work best for me to engrave on glass have been a speed of 350 with a max power of 40 on my Eon Mira 9. I use a line interval of about 325 to 350 depending on the details of the engraving. Once the engrave is done over the blazer orange comes the tedious part. I have to peel the masking off which was easy but if you hate weeding you got a little bit of that to do as well. But the added labor might be worth it. I think it turned out really great. I did think my engraved settings on glass were pretty good to begin with, but I do also believe that using the masking added an extra pop to the finer lines that might be more difficult to see when engraving on glass. Here's the side-by-side -side comparison with and without the masking. As with any material, it is trial and error to get the right settings. So I'm sure I could play around with this a little bit further. Blazer Orange is not cheap, but for a little quality improvement on your final product, it just might be worth it for your clients.